I've been getting a lot of requests lately, and one thing that keeps popping up is the topic of macros. I've seen that many want to know more about them, how they work, and why they're so useful. So, in today's video, we're going to discuss it. All right, so there are a lot of macro software out there, but in my opinion, one that stands out above the rest is AutoHotKey. It's powerful, flexible, and best of all, it's free. AutoHotKey is amazing. You can make it do all kinds of things, like typing stuff for you or moving your mouse around just by writing simple code. Since I am a GTA 5 related channel, I'll demonstrate some examples within GTA 5 to showcase what AutoHotKey can do. I got the sniper and rocket spam macros binded to my side keys on my mouse. I set the macro up in such a way that it automatically shoots once when it's being pressed. I used to have this exact macro setup in my mouse's software, but I recreated it using AutoHotKey, so now you can try it out yourself. ChatGPT helped me through it all. AutoHotKey is amazing, and ChatGPT really understands how its programming language works. I used ChatGPT to create a lot of macros, even outside of games. If you want to make macros fast, I'd suggest using ChatGPT to create them for you. Many of you asked me to send my macros, so here are the main macros I use. I use Notepad++ to edit my AutoHotKey code. This is what the programming language of AutoHotKey looks like. Here we have the Sniper and RPG spam code. Notice the numbers between each key press. These numbers represent the delay in milliseconds between each key press. Since my PC can run GTA 5 at a high FPS, I've set the delay quite low. However, if your FPS is significantly lower, the macro may break. In that case, you should increase the delay timings and experiment to find what works best for your PC. Here, I've set up the macro to activate when I press the right shift key along with 7. However, instead of using a standard keyboard key, I've reassigned this combination to one of the side buttons on my mouse. This customization was done within the mouse's software settings, allowing me to preserve my keyboard layout while still accessing the macro's functionality seamlessly. If you want to change the activation key for macros, I suggest asking ChatGPT to change the activation key. It is really easy to do this. Here's an example. Copy the code, paste it in ChatGPT, and tell it to change the activation key to your desired key. It's as easy as that. Now copy the code and replace it inside the script. And then save it. So if you want to create your own macro inside a game, you gotta tell ChatGPT the keystrokes and tell it to add a customized delay between each key press if it's needed. I will leave my GTA 5 macro in the pinned comment so you can copy it. I will also leave a link to the AutoHotKey website so you can download the macro software. There's also one important thing that you need to do when you create a text file to make the scripts. Make sure that you change the file extension from .txt to .ahk. This way, AutoHotKey will know that it's a executable script. I hope this video helped you out a little. If you got any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will see you in the next one.